Hi, I'm Tommy Dickinson with Lincoln Electric. I'm again alongside Ivan Grasick, product manager for the brand new Square Wave TIG 200. We've talked about our pulse feature, we've talked about our AC balance feature, now we're going to roll into the AC frequency. Ivan, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. So when we're discussing AC settings, we're in this case on AC TIG mode, and that's what you typically use when you're TIG welding on aluminum. So we talked previously about your AC balance setting, but now we're going to discuss the last LED, which is your AC output frequency. And out of the box, we're set to 90 hertz. Okay, and is that 90, what does that represent? Sure, so 90 hertz, hertz represents the number of wave cycles per second. So with this machine, we could adjust that to a lower frequency or lower number of wave cycles per second to a higher number of wave cycles per second, which represents the amount of times the machine switches between positive and negative polarity per second. Okay. And there's a value to having a lower frequency. So at a lower frequency, the arc tends to become wider and it results in a wider bead profile. Okay. That can become beneficial when you're welding over gaps or if you want to perform buildup work on aluminum material. Sure. Whereas a higher frequency actually tends to do the opposite. It tends to narrow that arc profile. Okay. And having a higher AC frequency can help when you're welding in tight configurations or tight joints and by providing a more focused arc profile, sure. which would result in a more focused welding bead. Okay. Well, great. Well, thank you very much for the insight. That was some advanced features on the brand new Square Wave TIG 200.